Now to a story that you will only see right here on WMTW News 8. We are getting a first look at the Kennebunk traffic stop that likely saved a man's life. It is dramatic video and just a warning, it may be disturbing for some viewers. Paul Merrill is in the studio with this exclusive dashboard camera video. Paul. David and Tracy, we first introduced you to Gavin Falconer, who goes by Scotty yesterday, and tonight we are seeing exactly how this life saving traffic stop played out. It's astounding to think that the man flat on his back receiving chest compressions in this video is the same man who's now joking with his hospital nurses as he recovers from a heart attack. I've been lucky all my life. Been the luckiest you had ever walked, did you feel? And I've been in some bad scrapes, but I always was lucky. <laughs> Scotty Falconer was lucky enough to be speeding on Saturday evening. It was just before 7 o'clock when Kennebunk police officer Matthew Harrington pulled the 84 year old over. I got his information like we always do. I went back to the car. I was writing out a warning card and uh, heard screaming. Officer Harrington knew what was happening. He pulled Scotty out of the car and started CPR. Another officer arrived and brought his defibrillator over. You can see Scotty's body jump as the AED shocks his heart. Was there a certain point where you knew that you had brought him back? Yeah, we felt for a pulse after after the first shock. Uh, did have one. We got a pulse back. But if you hadn't done that CPM, you wouldn't be talking to me today. While every Kennebunk police officer is trained to administer CPR and use an AED, only two officers on the force are trained, licensed EMTs, and Officer Harrington is one of them. As stressful as it was, he was still comfortable with what he was doing. Kennebunk Police Chief Robert McKenzie says that comfort is evident in the way Officer Harrington uses foam from the AED to protect Scotty's head and sends the other officer over to check on Scotty's wife. It's picture perfect, it really is. And as we told you yesterday, Scotty avoided a speeding ticket, but he did get a written warning. In the studio, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.